There's an easier way to create image cutouts. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Clean Tech, home of daily technology news and reviews. And today we're going to be talking about how to easily create image cutouts, assuming you have an iPhone. Today's video is brought to you by Clean Router. More on them at the end of the video. So today we're going to be simply covering how to easily create image cutouts in iOS 16. I cut photos of people, pets, and objects out of their background with a couple of easy steps, thanks to a new feature on the iOS 16. Let's jump right in. While the lock screen is one of iOS's, uh, iOS 16's uh, marquee features, there's another fun addition that's a little less obvious, uh, and that's the ability to easily cut out subjects from pictures. Believe it or not, that's uh, before this update, that hasn't been all that easy to do uh, thus far on iOS or Android for that matter. It's a way to easily separate a subject from a background and quickly share the results or paste them into applications. What would usually take considerable time and effort when using photo editing software, whether that's your PC, uh, Mac, or on your phones, uh, can be done with a couple of easy steps in iOS 16. It's surprisingly good and you can easily share the results with your group chat for maximum entertainment. Here's exactly how to do it. So the following steps should be able to help you replicate that or achieve that uh, cutout. Uh, this was done on an iPhone 11 running iOS 16.0.2 and an iPhone 14 Pro running iOS 16.1 developer beta 3. All right, so let's take a look at the steps, shall we? Open Apple's Photos app, so the Photos app that you have on your phone. Uh, find a picture in your camera roll with a subject that you want to isolate and cut out, like a person, pet, or a prominently featured object, whether it's like a table or something, like, I don't know, whatever fancies you. Um, long press on the subject until you feel a haptic buzz and see a white border appear identifying your subject. Once you do that correctly and you have that uh, picture or thing or cutout selected with the white border around, uh, from here, tap either copy or share. So you should be able to have either of the two options on your screen that you can uh, press or choose from. And that should uh, simply select whatever that cutout was and either uh, directly send it into an app, assuming you chose the share button, or copy it to your clipboard. We actually have uh, screenshots of this. So in this uh, photo, obviously the cat is a primary subject. So that's what uh, the test was done on. You know, this holding down on the cat, selecting its cat out. And uh, um, well, uh, this is what the next menu should uh, look like. Uh, you have the copy option. You have the same image option. You have share and a whole bunch of other stuff. If you copy the image, you can paste it anywhere that allows you to paste a PNG file, which is absolutely neat, uh, like Google search, messages, or even a note. Um, if you tap share, you'll see options to airdrop it, save the image to your camera roll, assign it to a contact, or add it to a new quick note, among others. Essentially, that's it. <laughs> uh, for a little more guidance on getting the best results, uh, here's a couple of tips. Any image saved to your camera roll is fair game, so it's not necessarily uh, you know, restricted to photos that have been taken uh, from the camera of the uh, smartphone or iPhone and uh, you know, or any other third uh, party app. So any, as long as you have a photo uh, in the app, uh, the photos app, that's pretty much uh, you know, fair game. It'll work on that. It doesn't have to be taken from uh, your iPhone uh, with your iPhone camera. Uh, it works best with people, pets, or clearly defined objects, and that's clearly something uh, you know that will improve upon as the software matures. Considering this is like uh, like fresh out of the box, obviously Apple would have made sure for it to work to the best of its ability uh, most of the times. But then again, uh, I'm sure there would be situations or photos out there where it might not actually work uh, the way you know uh, you want it to work. So that being said, again as the case with any software, over time, this should get better and better. 
Uh, if you long press an image and nothing happens, try again by pressing a different part of the image. If multiple attempts fail, then it probably is just not a good candidate for image cutout. And uh, that being the image. So even if that doesn't happen, worst case scenario, you know, it's working on no parts or no selections on a specific image whatsoever. Just try a different photo. Uh, maybe that photo is, uh, you know, not good enough. Either it's, uh, you know, um, uh, where, uh, where the software can actually identify if there's like separation at all between or what kind of subjects or objects are in the photo or if it's uh, you know not high enough of a resolution on the photo so it could be any number of factors but then again you know just uh, worst case scenario tried a bunch of times on a bunch of different photos before the iOS 16 update well uh, this was very hard to do um, you know for the average Joe and it took a considerable amount of time uh, granted there's websites that are capable of doing it there's um, software uh, some are free, some, most are paid, uh, that can achieve the same result, whether you're talking on, I don't know, your uh, phone, whether you're talking um, your Mac or your computer. So there's alternatives that have been available for quite a, lo <clears throat> quite a long time. Um, you know, nothing has been this convenient and this fast. So I'm curious to see uh, what kind of content people actually start uh, creating and share with this. Uh, but yeah, absolutely loving the feature so far. But yeah, that's just it for me. Let me know your thoughts about it down in the comment section below. Clean Router is the only router you will ever need because it allows parents to easily manage all the devices in their homes and stop internet pornography. It's simple and easy to use, doesn't slow down the internet, and allows you to block pornography, gambling, and anything else that you don't want your kids to see using the 7 layer IntelliFilter. Logs all activities per device. It also allows you to put time restrictions, get email reports, and gives you the ability to block content by keywords and even filters YouTube. Check them out in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching, and you have a great day.